Hi my darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chrissy. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I'd love it if you would subscribe before you leave. To my OGs, don't forget to turn your notification bell on so YouTube can tell you every time I upload a new video. I've been missing in action again. I know, I do apologise. I thought I'd just come on here, no makeup, just have a chill and just to show you what I've been buying. So if you do want to see a little haul, please keep on watching so my darlings i have got a little bit again of everything i've got some uh creams i've got some makeup some brushes some fabulous brushes um i've got uh, mystery boxes bargains from tiktok shop so let's get on with it i think i will start with um the, the creams from revolution pro now I bought these, I've been looking at them for ages and I kept on thinking, shall I buy them? And then they um, then they sold out and it took ages for them to come back. So I brought the Miracle Cream um, for your face cream and also the Miracle Eye Cream. Now, uh, I've used the Miracle Cream on my face and it is far too thick. It is really, th really, really thick. I think it's supposed to be um, a very close dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So it comes in a beautiful glass top. Let me pop my glasses on because I'm gonna need them. Uh, it's 10 pounds. I didn't notice today it's out of stock again. So people are liking it. It's just too rich for my skin. Um, it's a 50 ml which is 1.69 fluid ounce. Right, so let me just clean the top because I've got my pores all around it. So it comes in a beautiful glass tube, glass jar, and nice little tub. Now I'm going to show you the consistency and see how thick it is. It's almost like a whipped consistency, but look at that. It just doesn't go anywhere so if you got any type other than dry skin I'd imagine I might be speaking out of turn here but my skin's combo and what I'm gonna do is because it is far too rich for me I'm just gonna use it on my hands and my arms and such like that so it gives a super hydrating um, moisture but it smells a bit I can't sort of pinpoint what the smell is. I'm not over keen on it. It's not offensive, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm not that keen. But like I said, the the, the smell does go away once it's um, had time to settle, but it's beautiful for your hands. And let's face it, ladies and gents, you can always tell the age of somebody by the hands. So that is the Miracle Cream for your face. Now, I also bought the new Miracle Eye Cream. This one is, I think this is about eight pounds. Uh, I actually bought them in a set. You didn't save any money, it was just uh, the set. Uh, this one is 15 ml, which is 0 0.5 fluid ounce. This is really nice. Whether it's doing anything, I don't know. So it is literally just a tiny version of the larger tub. Um, again, it's got a nice little cover on it. This is a little bit more liquidy, but it is an eye cream. I'm not sure whether you can see. It is a little bit more of a runny consistency, but it's still got that sort of smell. It is quite thick for an eye cream, but it's not as thick as the face cream, but it does feel really nice. It has got that slightly lighter texture, um, but again, I do like that. I don't know whether it's because my eye, like your skin around your eyes is a lot more fragile, isn't it? And so um, I think it's doing some good, but we'll see. So that's, super hydrated hands for now 
let's just put the tops back on this and then at the same time as I bought those because I didn't want to pay for postage <laughs> you know I'm a miser always a miser I bought the uh, Revolution Pro Restore Lip Scrub and Balm Duo I think this was down to um, five or six pound now this is beautiful I love coconut it is gorgeous and so I've been on and on about this for a long long time and I just didn't get round to it because I've got a lot of scrubs you get um, two times 42 ounce 12 grams so you've got a lip scrub for the day and a balm for the night time oh, it smells beautiful it is oh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous this is the scrub so it is really really solid the consistency of the scrub is not as coarse as some that you can buy but it does the job it takes like your surface rough areas off which is really nice but the balm this is super super hydrating and this stays hydrating for ages look how thick if I, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this I'm gonna have creams coming out of everywhere at the minute that is super thick I'm going to put some, put some on my lips while I'm at it. I may as well. So I keep on putting everything into my, uh, my hands. A really, really smoothing, hydrating effect. I should have done it after a lip scrub, really. And it is for the night time. But you can see how glossy it is because of all the oils in there. I'm going to have to take a little bit off because I'm going to be shiny else. But that will stay hydrated for so long. I am really pleased with that. First thing I brought was the Rain Be Perfect Rain makeup by Alina from Be Perfect. I've just said it was Be Perfect. This was ten pounds. I wasn't going to pay for it full price. There's no way because you know I've got so many, so many palettes. I'm starting to get a little bit choosy, but I didn't mind paying a tenner. So that is the palette. Look how beautiful it is. And it opens up like a book. The only thing I sort of... You're going to think I'm crazy here, and this is going to be really unusual for me to say, but I've sort of changed the way I do my makeup, what I use. This has got pressed, I can't say, pressed glitters in there. It is very nice but you've got those press glitters and I'm not sure how they're going to be because some press glitters are really rubbish but some are really good, let me feel oh, those feel beautiful look at that mm, perhaps I ought to eat my words that is beautiful I have had a little tidy around with my palettes so what I've done is I've rearranged everything and let me just take this off my, my finger before it goes everywhere. This side of me is all of Revolution, whether it's Revolution Pro, Revolution High Art, Revolution Obsession, you name it. I've kept the newer ones in there. Well, I'll say the newer ones, the more recent ones, but I've literally had to store the older things somewhere else because I just run out of space so I've got that many and then, then this side we have got Morphe um, on, uh, we've got P. Louise, Mitchell, um, Colourpop, Natasha Denona uh, we've got Artitude Cosmetics there and then on the bottom we've got Be Perfect and um, mainly Beauty Bay uh, there's a few the beauty crop there but I've sort of tried to keep the one brand one side and then just have a sort of selection on the other side so that can go in the Be Perfect place towards the, the money shot and it's from P. Louise I bought this at a steal it came out and it was like silly money and the first time they sent it, um, they sent the wrong thing. They actually sent me the two two little palettes 
and a couple of the base shades which is okay but it wasn't what I wanted but I was going to send it back and then I thought no I'll leave it because I knew it was going to be in the budget box so this was what came in July's was it July budget box you've probably seen it already because it's fairly new but a lot of people have already had it it's beautiful packaging it's bulky but it's beautiful and now I've got a green palette I've got quite a few green palettes but now I've got another one so that is the top section of it and then you've got a pull out of there another tray there which is lovely I think you've got pretty much every sort of shade or hue of green you could possibly need and then there was the two smaller ones which the stack them ups you've probably already seen these because I'm late to the game because I've been off doing nothing so this one is the green which again these greens I thought was going to be a duplication of the larger palette but when I've looked they are completely different so perhaps I haven't got every colour of green I've just made myself look a fool there haven't I well you know what I mean I've got plenty of colours of green so that one was the green one what's it called health versus wealth is that what they're calling them or is that yeah, and then back yourself is the browns. What I did buy, I brought the complete set. Unbeknown to me, the stack ups hadn't changed. They'd just had the set with the two new ones in. So I've, li I've literally got um, two of everything now. So that is the other palette. Same with P. Louise, the budget box. This is over a couple of times, I'd imagine. So I've got five makeup uh, sponges, the soak is on you. So this was in the previous budget box. So you've got five, five different. Yeah, five different shapes of sponges there. I don't actually use sponges anymore. But perhaps I ought to give them a go again because I have got a lot. I won't know to change techniques, will it? So those are the beauty sponges. Then we've got Beauty in the Breakup from uh, the last but one release. And this is a cleansing balm, I think. yeah extract those bad vibes so that is a cleansing balm the packaging is absolutely beautiful then we have meet your patch i think these are eye patches brightens up your under eye yeah so i won't take those out because we all know what under eye patches look like and those are the other two stack em ups which I've got and the other three are on the side to make up the whole collection and um, then I've got which I, I didn't even realize I'd got I was looking at looking at these on TikTok shop and now I think there was two for 17 pound which was really good anyway but I'd already got them I'd got them in the 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 months before uh, beauty box so these are the hydrate and hydrate the heartbreak and block a clock they're primers one's per blow per pore one's pore blurring and the other one is hydrating so I want to try those but I wanted to show you them first so at least I can give them a go now with the money shop palette I had this exotic apple color base then when i had what i was supposed to have in the money shot package came the two small ones two small palettes and three green bases so you've got like a, a minty green and olive and then a sort of forest green maybe so i've got another three or four bases there all in greens i think i'm gonna to have to start wearing some of these things 
you more than likely already seen this because this is an old, much more traveled palette. I don't think the um, the formulation is that good, but look at this. It is so pretty. You've got a couple of feathers in there, and it look it feels like a wooden box, but it's obviously cardboard. But that is what's inside. Can I take it off? Those are the colours. So they are very deep. I think maybe a pigment palette to tell you the truth. But all of that for £15. And as I mentioned, it's I'm sure it's to, it was £10 the last time I looked. But I weren't mad because I'd already bought I'd already bought it and I'd already bought it for a good price anyway. So that one is another P Louise palette. I've still got my what's the Queen Conquer up there and I'm sure I haven't even opened it which is a shame TikTok shop again the the ones I usually go on are the lives which they usually have a good price but I'll go on uh, Mitchell's Be Perfect um, Unicorn Cosmetics Revolutions is, is crap it's just the, the older things. Um, where what else do I go on? There's quite a few that I'll go on all the sort of the brands I use anyway, and the crazy prices they really are. I mean, I am as I mentioned earlier, I'm literally waiting for payday to come round, so I can have some more things. So on TikTok shop, I brought the font set of Carnival liquid eyeshadows now i think these were 16 pound for all of them we have got i'm going to swatch these for you because we ain't done no swatches for ages this is venom these are high metallic uh, liquid eyeshadows i looked at them when they it's from the antidotes um collection i looked at them when they first come out and i like them but i didn't want to pay for the collection because i've got so many liquid eyeshadows but when I saw them at the price I got them for, I couldn't, I just couldn't leave them. Um, oh, sorry, that one is Venom. So that's like a khaki gold, old gold type of colour. Then we have got Honey. This is just random. I'm not sure what I'm going to pull out. So that one is like a copper bronzy colour. They feel really nice as well. So that one is... What did I say? Honey. There's a lot of product in there as well. Then we have Sugar Maple. I don't know why I'm putting them back in the box either because I can put them in my, uh, my drawers now. This is a rich copper. Oh, wow. They do literally look like metal molten so that one is sugar maple beautiful colors next is brass oh wow that's very orange these are beautiful autumn colors and they really do go with the antidote palettes as well wow Next is pin up. Oh, that's nice. These are beautiful autumn colours. That's got a lot more pink in it. And the last one is elixir which is another sort of goldy colour oh that's like a brown metallic that's nice too so those are all the six colours really really pretty look how shiny they are I might as well go on to more Mitchell things, but just before 
just before I did buy this from Revolution at the same time as that cream this was the watermelon dewy drops glow serum this is 50 ml which is 1.69 fluid ounce it's yeah it is it's high on Revolution I thought it looked like this sort of packaging um, Oh, let me un let me unlock it. So it's quite a nice consistency. It goes a long way. That was two pumps. It's very, very sort of artificial watermelon smelly. That smells a lot better. But it's I think it's supposed to be like a sort of grit primer. But we will look and we will try it and see what it's like. The other day I've mentioned Jade on my, on my channel quite a few times. It is a bargain and she's on it and she tells me uh, I've been back to work and so I've not seen a lot. So she says, Chris, Chris, TikTok shop, they've got unicorn cosmetics brush set. It's supposed to be £42 a tenner. So I go, oh, do I really want it? Do I really want it? No, because I'd bought some others, but it came today. So, look at this. Look how personalised this is. How gorgeous. Yeah, obviously, it's from the Angel Collection, and um, I've got the mirror. I've got quite a few things from the Angel Collection, so this is how it came look even the packaging is so so pretty boxes is boxes is gorgeous everything about unicorn cosmetics is just extra extra beautiful so we have got the brush set now as you can see i haven't even opened them shall we have a look it is the one two three four five ten piece there so we'll go Look at those! Oh, how pretty! You don't want to. I don't want to use them. That's the only trouble. I do this a lot. I buy them. Oh, that feels nice. I buy them and then I, I don't want to use them, but I need to because when I say I've got hundreds of brushes, I'm really not joking. There's the next one. Oh, super soft. They look lovely. They feel lovely. Now, get me some skills. And another one. Oh, they are so, so soft. These are, sure, I'm sure they're vegan and cruelty free as well. Nice, big, fluffy brush. That's quite a long one, isn't it? I think that could be a highlighter there. That's plenty for a highlighter. Then we've got a, a flat brush. Perhaps if I take them out of the packaging, I might urge myself to use them. Little flat brush, smudge brush maybe. I like these. Then we've got a little fluffy brush, a little fluffy eye brush. Looky, even these, the ferrules on them, they are beautiful. What have they got on them? It's got unicorn. Oh, it, it tells you what it is. Do you see 17 by the looks of it? But that, it's almost like engraved. That's a nice little touch. Then we've got another, another fluffy brush. Can you see that engraving there on there? Wow. Then we've got a teeny fluffy brush. This looks amazing. I like it. Which one is this? This is a UC13. Look how tiny that is. That will be really good. And then we have a little 
pencil brush. I'm glad, you know, why there isn't like one of those little liners with the um, eyelash brush because let's face it, we've all got them and it's probably the least used. Well, it is the least used for me. I'm only just starting to get to do my eyebrows again. How lovely is that? That is special £10, so Jay, thank you for the heads up on that. She, I wasn't going to buy it again because, you know, I'm sort of running low on funds and I've just got to be careful. We've all got to be careful at the moment, as you know, but I couldn't resist that. Uh, but a few more nails, not many this time, as you can see. I've slowed down. I've just put these ones on. Um, I've got to do some painting tomorrow, so I wasn't going to put the glitter ones on because I need some... Um, I need some clear varnish to go over the top for the glitter and I've run out. So I've put these on. These are the pink one and it, they've got like a, a paint splatter on them. So actually, I'm, I'm using white paint tomorrow anyway. But yeah, I'll put those on. So yeah, this is a totally different company than I usually have. Um, so they're a little different in shape they're really long i didn't expect them to be this long either look how big these are oh, i'm never going to be able to wear these and i like what i'll have to do is i'll have to file off and i'm going to lose the effect of where i've got to file okay so those are the blue ones look how long they are right those are long for me and those are my days See, I'd have to, I'd have to file all that off, and so you're losing all the the glitter effect. The nice, but won't be able to do nothing with them, one. So those are the the blue ones. These are the red ones. They are very pretty. They're just not as oh those now those are a different shape. These are slightly. slightly shorter so those are not those aren't too bad but those are the ones are huge then we've got a baby pink use those are pretty you would have to put some uh, nail varnish on the top of that though because the glitter is coming off so just to secure it why have I bought two lots of pink are those two different colour pinks let me just have a look no, they're the same. So we've got two two lots of those. Oh, those are a nice colour purple. Then look at this magenta. Again, there. These are the really long ones. It's a shame. They're going to be too bulky. Those are. They're going to look just too big. But look at these. These are a dark blue. Those are the business. I love those. Those are really pretty. I don't know whether they're supposed to be dark blue or black. It doesn't matter. They're gorgeous. Let me look. Yeah, they're just... By the time I filed the little, the little tip off anyway, where the... Uh, where this... This little legend is, they'll be about the same size as these. Those are gorgeous. Right, then I bought some pads for my TENS machine. Um, This is the only time I've bought anything off AliExpress and I haven't been happy. These are, they're made so cheaply. If you use a TENS machine, you'll know exactly uh, what these pads are. So, You've got your pads, they're smaller than I expected, but you've got the, the wire there and you put, plug that into the your ends of your 10 machine. Now I wore these at work, two days running, and both times the wire actually came out of the pad while it was on my neck and on my back. And so I was literally left with the, the wire with the full current going onto my skin. Uh, it weren't a pretty sight put it that way so I'm not I'm not gonna buy anything like this from AliExpress again because they're too cheaply made I mean you're talking about your healthier and there's no price on that so they was 
cheap but they are really really cheaply made so those are definite not you know I would tell you if something's good I'll tell you if something's not so good I wouldn't touch these again so right now on to Mitchell I've got some blur normal blush as you know I've shown you them before um I went on the other day um and I was just having a look around and I thought, oh, those look nice. I looked at, it. I've been looking at a brush set, but they're always so expensive. Now, this were, I bought these before they actually went uh, on on Melanie's Live on the TikTok shop. So, these, are these more Mitchell ones? So, right, so I've got, I've got doe colour, doe colour, whatever they are. Yeah, those are not my Mitchell ones. But those are the mature ones. So I had all of these for £32. Two brushes is 32 quid. Crazy. That was like less than £35. And they came in a lovely neoprene case as well. Well, I'll put them in my Mitchell case because I've got to be extra in I. I am going to use those though for definite. I have got to start practicing again at my, at my makeup because I'm out of the loop. I sort of lost the plot. I've lost all. I've lost all that sort of technique I used to use. But I'm back on it now. Then what happened was I brought. I ordered the. Graph ink, graph ink liners in this was a crate it was this really stupid price it was 17 pound i think 17 pound everything seems to he always puts his things down to 17 pound for the bundles i don't know what it is or TikTok too tick tock do um and it was the full bundle of five for 17 pound so i ordered those but what came was the black, the white, and the brown. So I instead, so that was seven, seventeen pound, and I thought, oh, I wanted these because I'm still looking for the ones I lost, and I'm thinking I've chucked them away in the wrapping, which I'm, I'm going to be moaning about this for months. I've got this, and I had the full liner collection, the eyeliner collection in the basics, and I think I've chucked them both were lots away so i bought so he sent me these so i, I just messaged him i says um i sent the wrong parcel so bless him such an angel he sent me he sent me these again and he said this is when 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 you have your brushes i'll send send them out again so he sent me those he says i says what do you want me to do with these do you want me to send them back he said no you can keep them so i got these free i mean that is custom service without a doubt and they they didn't take long either i think the reason they took a lot longer than normal is because they was on pre-order i saw i saw them those brushes in the morning and uh, i ordered them early morning i actually messaged jade and i said is this a good price and she said they're fabulous i knew she'd got some and she literally bought a second set because the dog had had hers or he chewed some of the brushes and she said she liked them that much she did actually replace them because they were so good so she says yeah they are a really good price so like i say i uh, i ordered them in the morning but on the afternoon my days they sold hundreds of lots on uh, the tiktok live with melanie they just went through the roof so obviously it got caught up in the um the pre-order then so those was me brushes that was me liners i've brought some more of the blush now i think this was 12 pound for three instead of probably more than 12 pound each so shall we have a look at these i am actually going to do a full collection of i think i've just mentioned it a full collection of mitchell products so this one is cherry cola i'm glad i can uh, show them you know because i could put them away again these could be used on your eyes on your on your cheeks, on your lips, 
Look at that. There's a lot of product in there as well. You get 20 fluid ounce. Oh. Costco Wednesday. Yes, Mel, I'll have something from Costco. I'll phone you later. This one is uh, Posy Rosie. Oh, look at that. And then we have got Sweet Cheeks. No, that's the girly pink. That is Barbie pink. Wow. That is a summer one if ever I saw one, but those are a lovely little set and that is the uh, the bundle and like I say it was it was twelve pounds for all of them which was an amazing price. Then 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 I had the Mitchell Mystery Box come today. So I uh, I don't even know which one I had now. I think it was supposed to be £25 and I think I had it and it was £19 the day after because I, di I didn't have it on the, the day it came out. I don't know if you can see his new, yeah you can, his new packaging it's all embossed with his logo. It is really classy. They were, obviously that was all different but it's a good way of trying different products as well. First things first is I've got another brush which I'm always going to be happy with. Now I think these have come from the um, the pre-order because the other ones have got the uh, the numbers on them and these haven't and neither has my uh, my brush brush collection. So that is very nice, it's super soft. So I can put that one in in my uh, my brush case now. Um, then. We've got a blush, a blush. Let me have a look. This one is in a shy boy. I don't know whether I've got this one. Let's have a look. Yep, I've got this one already. So, I might actually. Let me just swatch the one I've got already. And I might put that in a giveaway. Oh, oh, vintage rose. You know, I like a vintage rose colour, which is this one here. Quite similar to this one, which was cherry cola. But with a little bit more pink. Then we've got, this is blushed, blush bronze. Now I haven't got any of these at all because I wasn't sure about them. This is a rather a dark one. This one is Blend and Snatch. So I think it will be too dark for me, but I think you can shear them out. If you only put a little bit on, you should be okay. Whoa, that is way dark for me. No, I can't use that. Even if I blended it out to the hills, I, that was going to be too dark. So that is like rich, rich brown. Then we've got all smudge, no budge, eyeliner pencil in Hernt. Hernt, I suppose it's burnt with a H. I'm not down with the kids anymore. Right, so these can be used lip liner, eyeliner, all sorts. So it's going to be a briny colour. Right, let's have a little look. Oh. See, I like a brown eyeliner, but this can be used as a lip liner as well. That's a, like a sort of, almost a, an orangey brown. It's got that really warm look to it. Um, then we have got um, one of the summer ones, which is La La Land. And I'm hoping it's going to be purple because you know, I'm a purple ho. I've got the dark purple, but this is a lighter purple. I was going to buy the, the bundle of these because again, they've got them all for £17. 
you know they are so creamy look at that very nice and then last thing is from the the new mangoes collection and it's a graphene liner so i've got another one here which oh this one is electric mango so this one looks like it's going to be a yellow color right, okay so that is the color oh, what i'll do is when i'm doing the my mitchell collection uh, next time i will swatch all of the the liners the graphic liners and all of the um, eyeshadow palettes highlighter palettes eyeshadow palettes whatever i've got you'll see my darlings that is the end of my haul now if you have got to the end thank you so so much for watching if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave me a thumbs up that would be amazing and if you haven't already and you do like the look of my channel please consider subscribing i will be back really soon no going out well anymore so i would love it if you would join me until then please take care of yourselves and stay safe love you loads bye